I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, salutation, darlings. So wing here, bringing you some more Genshin Impact. This time, <clears throat> we're doing the quest line, No More Stone, Strange Sights, Stolen Souls. How ominous. Anyway, last time, we did a hangout with our local exorcist, Chung Yung. I hope I said that right. I probably said it wrong. <sighs> anyway, this time we should be hanging out with the guardian of Earth himself. If I could, Rick Slappies. Oh my goodness, what's his actual name? Or the name that he's choosing to call himself this time. Uh, I cannot remember. Maybe tell me. <laughs> maybe you guys, maybe you darlings can tell me. Anyway, let's begin. Is the Archon of Contracts? Tell me who you are. Also, I made a wish for two, and I got him. Zhongli. Yes. Let's see. Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. <laughs> A new contract. <laughs> as well as Yanfei, I do believe. My name is Yanfei, top Yanfei. legal expert in Lila. And for the avoidance of doubt, no one else comes close. <laughs> we have both of our darling. <clears throat> well, one new one old. When returning. One very old, actually. All things considered. And yes, from Miss Banner. You know, I have no idea if you darlings would be interested in seeing my... Seeing? Hearing my reactions to the wish. If you do, tell me. Otherwise, I'm just gonna do them off. Oh, whatever. Anyway, these darlings are with me now. <laughs> and as I said, we're doing the quest No More Stone, the Historia Antica, Chapter Act 2. Hmm. And next time, we'll be doing a teapot to call home. Which I am so excited for. So excited. And then this one. Hmm. We'll also do that one. I'm not sure when exactly. Depends on how long this one is. But let's begin. Strange Sights, Stolen Souls. Catherine of the Adventurers Guild in Liyue Harbor has a new commission for you. You and Paimon decide to find out what it's all about. And apparently there's also a daily quest here. Hmm. Maybe we can get them both done at the same time. That's kind of what it's going to be. They're like right side by side. Hmm. Actually. Uh, don't mind me. Aha! I knew it! I need to step, st step, stop by places and get things like this. I always need more crabs. I only have 85 and like a lot of recipes call for like four of them at a time. So, it's not a whole lot. Hmm. I'll talk to her. I hope it turns out this time there's still few days left. Yada yada, so on and so on. Details. Hmm. And just defeat some hilly trolls. But they're not our priority. It is Catherine. Hi, Catherine! It's us! Any new commissions? 
Mm hmm As a matter of fact, there's one that looks perfect for you two. Oh? Uncle Dai is one of the foremen at Huishan Hall over in Liyue Harbor. He's hoping the Adventurer's Guild can spare some manpower. Huh. What is it we have to do exactly? Good question. I believe you'll be looking for workers. Ooh, looking for people? Awesome! We're good at that! Sure. <laughs> I have no reason to doubt your abilities. <clears throat> I'm sure the details can be worked out face to face. If you're willing to accept this commission, head over to the dock and talk to Uncle Dai. Uncle Dai. Alright. Let's go. Oh, oops. Nope, he's a bit further down. Now, see, I would talk to this guy. But I'm making a completely selfish trip to get some super fresh fish. Or rather, to get some super fresh crabs. Hey, you only show up like once a day. I knew. Yo, what's up? <sighs> hey, are you Uncle Dai? <laughs> I guess wander up to every stranger you meet. But hello. I am indeed. Exactly, who you're looking for, and they are. Ah, now then. You must be the adventurers assigned by the guild. Huh? Mm -hmm. How could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> by the clothes on your back and the look on your face. Experienced adventurers at that, I'll wager. Lumaine's face looks oh so innocent. <laughs> right again! You're pretty perceptive! This is the face of innocence. What are you speaking of? <laughs> <laughs> In this trade, you need a sharp eye for people, not just rocks. Fair enough. Uncle Dai can see what you're made of from a long way off. All right, my assistant should be arriving soon, so let's just wait here a moment. Whoa, whoa! That's why we're here! Now there's someone else taking a cut? Oh my god, Pi. Well, to tell you the truth, this is a very <coughs> difficult matter. Too much for adventurers alone to handle life here. Really? You would think if it was a, a difficult matter, that's why you'd call the adventurers. Hmm. So there is someone else! Oh my gosh. Do you think we're not up to the job? Stay. Paimon, you're getting competitive again. It just occurred to me that you don't have all the facts. <laughs> the incident in question happened in a mine, and it's a little out of the ordinary, to say the least. Mines are dangerous places, as I'm sure you're aware. As such, I've enlisted an industry expert to cover all contingencies. Hmm. Last time I checked, adventurers weren't experts in ore appraisal or geological analysis. With a professional by your side, everything should run smoothly. Besides, this guy's the best in his field. No matter the rock, he'll tell you its value to the nearest mora at a glance. I think I might know who it is. I'd go as far to say that there's not a soul in Tevat that knows rocks better than him. I'd be a fool to not enlist an expert of his caliber. Mm. You're a fool if you think you found Tevet's number one rock expert. Oh? And why might that be? Because Tevet's number one rock expert happens to be a friend of ours. You must be talking about... <laughs> Perfect, I was planning to ask him a few questions. Ha ha! Didn't expect that, did you? Huh? Wait here, we'll go fetch him. <laughs> Would you eat? No. <laughs> I know that Zheng Li is listening to the storyteller. Let's head over. What's with this random gap? <laughs> oh, hello, Lumaine. Are you okay? There you go, Taro. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Yep, there's Zhang Li. Just chillin'. In our last tale, Rex <laughs> Lapis. <laughs> How weird must it be to hear Can stories about yourself? <laughs> oh, here for a few tales. I didn't know you two were connoisseurs. Hmm, not at this instance. Oh, no, no, we're here for you. Um, do you have time? 
Looks like he's in the middle of a meal pipe. Ah, something I'm rarely short of. We have we've accepted a commission. We need someone who understands geology and ore. Hmm. Someone who understands geology and ore. Ugh. Take a look around. Is there anyone in Tavat more qualified? <laughs> the requester claims to have enlisted Tavat's number one rock expert. But Paimon doesn't believe a word of it. Nobody understands rocks better than you. Hmm. Lord of the Rocks? Understanding rocks? I see no problems with this claim. <laughs> you appear to have taken his claim quite personally on my behalf. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yes. It's just... Uncle Dai doesn't know what he's talking about. So then you took the claim personally on his behalf. <laughs> I just wants to enlighten him. <laughs> I see. <clears throat> well, then, it will be my pleasure to accompany you. How wonderful to have you back in our company, Zhang Lu. Really? But I should inform you that despite my expertise, I cannot necessarily claim to be a leading authority. Mm -hmm. We are at all times adrift in a sea of learning. New knowledge should be welcomed with open arms. Still, I imagine I will be of help to you in this endeavor. If we do encounter an expert, I look forward to broadening my own understandings. Zhang Hui has the best mindset. Ah, someone's bitter than you? Looks like it's time to learn. <laughs> why, why is he Uncle Dai? Why is he not just Dai or Sir Dai? Why is he Uncle? <laughs> huh? What? Hmm, mysterious new mail. <laughs> Alright. It is also mine. I guess there was an event. Um, out of game. I got a couple of things. Nothing grand, but still. Perfect for that future starter teapot. <laughs> Let's go with one Zhang Li in our pocket. Ever standing ever so threateningly. <laughs> This must be the friend you spoke of? Yep. <laughs> yep. Paimon doesn't know who your rock expert is, but he's got nothing on our guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, I do have a claim to some experience in this field. Some. Uh-huh. So you say. Wait till my guy gets here. Then we'll see. I'm curious who his guy is. It's no use me singing his praises. You'll have to see for yourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, is this the place? Hmm, don't recognize the voice. Aha! Speak of the devil. Allow me to introduce my assistant, Kun Jun. Hmm. Young Kun, these are two adventurers assigned to us. And as for this gentleman... Huh? Uh... Do they know each other? This is Shung Li, a consultant from Funeral Parlor. Wang Shung Funeral Parlor's consultant. Mr. Zhang Li, I've heard about you. They say you're a man of great knowledge and many talents. <laughs> I had no idea I'd be meeting you in person today. They're like, I've heard of you, but I didn't recognize your face. I am sure I recognize you. Have we met at the parlor? Wait, I've never been to the parlor. <laughs> Uncle Dai, aren't you going to test them? So that's what you're planning. Huh? I, I wouldn't know where to start. Then they can figure out a way to test each other. If Zhang Li wins, he's the assistant. If Zhang Li loses, uh, uh, never mind. Zhang Li won't lose. Paimon's so competitive. A contest? Why, it would be my pleasure. I admire your enthusiasm, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, you certainly have the look of an industry expert about you. It'll be interesting to see which one of us wins. No kidding. Stop talking the talk and start walking the walk. I'm just saying it like I see it, <laughs> which is incidentally the only skill I have worth talking about. So you're an appraiser, Mr. Kunjun. Well, no. Huh? Actually, I've already forgotten what I'm in Liyue Harbor for. I was standing by the side of the road one day when Uncle Dai called me over. 
He saw me holding a rock and asked me a few questions. He seemed incredibly excited, even followed me for a while. We arranged to meet here. What? Huh? How could you forget something like that? No kidding. I saw him on my way over to Liyue Harbor, poring over rocks and muttering to himself. He looked to be very familiar with them. Uh -huh. I asked him a few questions out of curiosity. To my surprise, he knew more than me, an old mining foreman. In any case, he didn't have any pressing matters and agreed to help me. Weird. So, do you have a poor memory? Not exactly. Anyway, if it's rocks you need help with, I can most certainly lend a hand. All right. Mr. Zhongli, what do you make of this rock? Hmm. A glossy exterior with a fissure that could only have been left in the wake of a volcanic eruption. If I'm not mistaken, this is a rough gem from another nation. Huh. Ah, a keen eye. It's no ordinary rough gem. Fragile surface layer, black veining. My intuition tells me that there's high-quality crystal ore inside. Oh? Remarkable! This rock does indeed <coughs> hail from the vicinity of a volcano. I came across it in a market and snapped it straight up. The seller thought it was some leftover industrial remnant. They had no inkling of the treasure that lay within. What makes this one so s Isn't crystal ore found everywhere? What makes this one so special? Purity and geological rarity alone aren't enough to make a treasure. Some of the most precious crystals contain deposits of water or sand. In the moment of its formation, the crystal hidden within this stone shell captured a pocket of water. The huh? water to be hidden in its depths, like a moon concealed within a mountain, uh -huh. reflecting shafts of daylight that make it through. Now that's a rare treasure. That is indeed. Oh my goodness, I think I've only ever seen like a picture of it once. A rock with water inside. How bizarre. Such a detailed description. Almost like he saw it with his own two eyes. Mm -hmm. Say, you're not trying to hoodwink this, <laughs> are you? After all, we haven't even seen what's inside yet. No kidding. Everything he said is true. Most crystals are born in high temperature environments. Heat mm -hmm. and water aren't natural bedfellows, of course, which is why crystals with water deposits are so sought after. Moreover, this particular crystal contains mountain lake water. A rare find indeed. How would you know it comes from a mountain lake specifically? Well, if Xiangli said so, it must be true. Oh my gosh. I've yet to encounter anyone with a judgment as shrewd as yours, Mr. Zhongli. How did you know exactly what lay within? No. Nope. Good question. I've seen many such stones in my time. I recognized it immediately. I hope you didn't mind me flaunting my experience, Mr. Kunjun. Mm -hmm. Of course not. I feel I've met a kindred spirit here today. <laughs> I hope you will accept my friendship. Uh, Zhongli, you just made a friend. Uncle Dai, it would be a mistake for Mr. Zhongli not to join us. Trust me when I say that his level of expertise is unrivaled in the trade. You won't come across another of his caliber in your lifetime. <laughs> ah, yes. Here's a fancy rock I have. Ah, yes, I can tell you exactly what it's made of and where is it from. And where is it from? Heck, where it is from. <sighs> Rare caliber, indeed. Very well. There is strength in numbers, after all. Hmm. Everyone, follow me to the chasm. There are men counting on you to find them. Oh. <coughs> People are missing. City of the Gods. How mysterious and floating. I do so love the music. And it faded away. To be replaced with something 
did not see me. Couldn't even reach the infernal creature. Not even that it's a bad area. It's just so goddamn far out of the way. <sighs> Bye. And we're going to be talking to this guy. I would fight them, but we have a story to do. And I've been trying to be ever so slightly more efficient I have to remember to come here there's so much there are so many rocks Six days ago, a group of us left the site to attend to other matters. Mm -hmm. we I led a team around the entire mine, but found no trace. That's when I decided to enlist help. Hmm. So four miners have disappeared. Yes, there were ten of us. We lost Long, Bold Sen, Brave Sen, and Mao. I worked with all of them. Workers in this trade are usually young men in the prime of their lives. Could it be that the four of them left for another mine? Mm hmm <sighs> Unlikely. There's no other lodging for miles around, and we didn't pass any other mines on the way over. Hmm. Huh. Such a huge mine. Did you really manage to explore every corner? No kidding. Underground, overground. We left no stone unturned. Hmm. We tried everything short of digging further into the earth itself. How could four sturdy young men just vanish into the bedrock? Right. We'll need to explore the site ourselves before extracting any conclusions. Right. Might find some elemental traces. Very well. I'll wait here. Please, proceed wherever you'd like. If you come across any clues, let me know straight away. Right. He'll be keeping track for us. So strange. How could the four of them just suddenly disappear? Did they run away from something? Over here! What's this? A pile of shirts, some trousers. Hmm. Huh. A few everyday items. They must belong to Uncle Dai and his men. Mm hmm. One, two, three, four. Huh. That seems right. Ten shirts, ten pairs of trousers. Stop These must be spares, right? Look! Uncle Dai's clothes are identical! Mm -hmm. The four of them have been gone for six days without a change of clothes. There's also a few handkerchiefs and some soap lying around. Oh, and some tool belts! Items for washing one's face before the dawn shift. Mining equipment. So, they didn't take any supplies. So they weren't expecting to go. Hmm. Correct. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't need them? Improbable. There are four pickaxes missing. 
It seems likely they left with the tools of their trade. Mm -hmm. They had time to take their tools, but not their everyday items? Curious. Huh. Why would someone set off with their tools, but leave their luggage behind? Right. One, they were working close by and didn't need to move their personal effects. But seeing as they've yet to return, this seems an unlikely hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Or two, they were forced to leave and had no time to think about their supplies. More likely. Oh. You think someone kidnapped them? It's certainly a possibility. We'll need more clues before any further inference can be made. Mm -hmm. If they didn't leave, maybe they were made to leave. Let's make a note and let Uncle Dai know. Right. I mean, really, if you left me out of mine, I would have no idea what I'm doing. I'll leave the investigations to you. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Fancy rock. Thought it. Bunjun, what do you have there? Oh, right on time. Mm hmm. Did you find anything? There's a chunk of ore here. Perhaps there are clues within. Or what does it have to do with the disappearance? No kidding. Let's find out. I'll give it a try. A moment, please. Hmm? <sighs> okay. What are you busy doing? What? What? Mindly, mindlessly walking up some stairs after someone. Hmm. Oh my goodness, that reminds me of some feature of the game that I was playing. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh my gosh, for the life of me, I cannot remember, but I've seen like a feature like that before where you're wandering around and you're looking. Oh my gosh, what? I can't remember. Looks like he's concentrating really hard. What's he up to? Mm -hmm. I see four men. <gasps> oh, that blue haired child. Following someone out of the mine. Yes. It, it looks like a child. A child? What's a child doing in a mine? Recruiting miners, of course. I'm not sure. Exactly. Oh, I don't mean see in the traditional sense. I, I I would appreciate it if what I'm about to tell you remained a secret. It's a little odd. Hmm. I've never dared to tell anyone before. I can perceive the memories of Orr. How interesting. Huh? <laughs> same, Paimon, same. Perceive? So there's no... Conjecture at work? You mean, you can put your hand on a rock and boom, it just happens? Hmm. I've always sensed that ore contains memories. <laughs> Sometimes it records events that occur in the surrounding area. All I have to do is touch one and focus my attention, and the memories come to me. <laughs> Maybe that's where he's shown, shown seeing Zhang Li. In a memory of a rock. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing! So you can find out everything that ever happened there! It depends on the ore. Some ores have astounding memories. Others, like iron ore and white iron ore, aren't up to much. Their memories are hazy. Alright. Core lapis and crystal memories are much stronger. <laughs> they record hmm. more events and in greater detail. Right. Makes Stone sense. scene. <laughs> Fascinating. A rare ability indeed. 
It was prudent of Uncle Dai to recruit you, Mr. Kunjun. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad I can be of assistance. I mean, of all things, I mean, how does he not have a vision, dude? Based on what I saw, I believe they followed this path. Mm -hmm. This will take us north, away from the mine. North? Another clue for Uncle Dai! Let's make a note of it! Yeah. There's just their pickaxes or missing. Could it be that the child I saw kidnapped them? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, north. Way north. Where, where? Tranquil Valley, is it? No. I think it's over here. Hmm. I'd be surprised if we weren't heading to this area. I suppose this area of Minlin. But I suppose we'll have to see. Also, can I collect that? I cannot. It looks like some sort of core lapis. Yeah. Is it was able? It was able to record the information we needed. A curious stone indeed. Now we're talking to this guy, who's pretty much here all day, every day. Excuse me, sir. Are you one of the workers here? Ah, yes, yes. You must be here about the disappearance. Please, find them if you can. I... I don't know what happened. The weather was <coughs> gloomy that day. The foreman left with a few men. Hmm. I stayed behind with the other four. After a while, I decided to take a break. Just to catch my breath, mm -hmm. I ended up falling asleep in the shelter inside. When I woke up, there was no sight of them. I'd only just been speaking with them and suddenly they'd vanished. Huh. Maybe, maybe I'm next. It'll be fine, I'm sure of it. So the men that were out working disappeared, with the only one left to tell the tale having been asleep in a shelter. Hmm. Meaning whatever happened to them... They had to be awake to be affected by it. Perhaps an accident occurred on site. Ah, oh, what a scary thought. An on-site accident. We should note that down, too. We found some clues. Time to report back to Uncle Dot. Right. We have some stuff to tell you. You're back. How are the investigations going? Yeah, so so. We found three clues in the vicinity. First, there are four missing pickaxes, yet everyday items are still in their place. This suggests that your men didn't leave of their own accord, but were forced to. Mm -hmm. Forced to? But who would kidnap miners? Who indeed? Who indeed? <laughs> Second, there were five workers at the mine. One of them left the site to take respite. When he awoke, his colleagues had disappeared without a trace. Those who kept working all disappeared. The one who left early emerged safe and sound. It would appear that the incident occurred on site. Mm -hmm. Now that you mention it, I recall Bravo saying that he took a break. Could someone have entered the site and simply walked away with them? Looks like it. This leads me to my third point. Mr. Kun Jun here made good use of his uh, expert <laughs> techniques to arrive at a conclusion. It was a child that took your men away. <laughs> a child? But there are no settlements here for miles around. There's no way a child would have made it over to the mine. No kidding. Unlikely as it sounds, that's our conclusion. Your men were following a child. Where did they go? We believe that they followed the road north, away from the mine and toward the ruins. North? Right. I'll rally my men and head in pursuit. Do you need help? You've been invaluable to the investigation, but leave the legwork to us. If we set off now and make haste, we might be able to catch them. I still feel like we should go. Not so fast. The incident occurred six days ago. 
Even if they set out on foot, they will have covered a lot of ground by now. Right. You're right. New plan. I'll lead my search party over to the settlements further out and make some inquiries. Mm -hmm. There are only a few settlements around here with lodging for the night. We'll go investigate and see if we can come up with anything. In the meantime, you could keep looking for clues. If we don't see each other, let's reconvene at Wang Shu Win tomorrow evening. Get it. Agreed. All right. Me and my men will get going. Mm -hmm. The most casual walk away. So, they're going to talk to the people over at the settlements while we keep investigating here. Correct. But there aren't any more clues at the mine. Shouldn't we go north? Wait. I believe we're missing someone. A rock seer? Huh? Oh, yeah. Where's Kunjun? Prime and Betsy's still investigating. Let's go find him. <laughs> yep, there he is. Yo, what's up? What you seeing? Kunjun, what are you searching for? We're all out of clues. Let's get going. Ah, apologies. I'm conducting a quick search for my own benefit. I'm looking for a precious stone known as Dragonfall. Dragonfall? Dragonfall? Thanks. Never heard of it. Dragonfall is often used in forging. What use do you have for it? I... I don't know. Oh? I, I'm sorry. I, I don't recall why I'm seeking it. I've been feeling very... absent lately. Hmm. Name and address aside, I'm having trouble remembering things. Hmm. In fact, I've been feeling extremely anxious. As if there's something I've forgotten to finish. It's... An unpleasant sensation. Hmm. Oh, Paimon knows that feeling. When you know you've forgotten something, but you can't remember exactly what it is. <laughs> like my moment just to go. Mo like me, just a moment ago, when I was trying to think of that game with the feature, but I couldn't remember it, but I know I've seen it before. <sighs> I don't even <laughs> know where to start with it. I've been aimlessly wandering. That day at the market, I overheard a conversation while I was buying something. They mentioned Dragonfall. It sounded so familiar to me, as if whatever it was I had to do was linked to that stone. So, I decided to look for some. Is it rare? Perhaps if I can retrieve some, I'll remember what it is I have to do. Must be. I see. If I am able to during our endeavor, I will help you look for this stone. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Zhengli. You're too kind. Think nothing of it. Shouldn't we get going? Heading north from the chasm mm -hmm. will reach Lingju Pass. If this is indeed the path they chose, there will be traces. Makes sense. Great! Let's have a look! Alright. And it's raining. Oh, by the realms. How I love it when it rains. <laughs> oh, and we moved into a different zone and the music changed. Oh. And this game. Which boy, if you haven't been here, you will. You will now. <laughs> I was going to collect the fruit. Oh, lightning! <laughs> Wait, there are tracks here. Ah, uh, yes, a bucket of rocks. These must have been left by the miners. Well, mm -hmm, yeah. Let us make our way to the end of Lingju Pass. If there are no footprints there, it would suggest that the miners are still within the pass itself. However, if we find new tracks, we can follow them wherever they may lead. Perfect. We have a plan. An important message. Uh, what? 
excuse you? What? No, hold, hold, hold up. Uh, tutorial? Collecting. Birch, Cthulhu tree, pine, sand bear, Quincy, cedar, fib fur. What? Why are we collecting tree wood? Is it for the houses we're not yet building? Closer. <laughs> Lisa for the win. And this area. Oh, it's been ages since I've been here. It feels like. But alas, we are not here to linger. The suspicious rocks. You know, I wish your stamina would go up ever so slightly slower if you're climbing up a ladder. Hmm. Oh, once more, I must say how I love it when it rains. Muddy footprints. Hey, footprints! Yes. It would appear that they made their way through Lingju Pass and kept moving. Mm hmm. If we follow their footprints, we should be able to find where they went. All right. Let's continue. How did white? Well, I suppose. No. Where is the letter? Um, hold on. I have to collect uh, the sparkly. Yeah, the letter is right over there. So why? So the letter is right there. I mean, the way that I went makes more, a lot more sense. Although I guess they could have. They walk weird. Come a little closer. You're in for a little. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. give it an L. I picked a random word and it's nowhere close. Timber obtained from Kuha trees with its lovely coloring meat paint will surely be able to make take up take on minor uses upon undergoing suitable conditions. Huh. Anyway. I need to heal. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to heal my darlings. 
because I think otherwise. Oh no, the footprints end here. We should inquire with anyone nearby. If the miners came through here, they may well have seen them. <laughs> guy over here. And that person there. And let's Hi see. There. Have you seen anyone dressed like a miner around here? A miner? I'm afraid not. Hmm. Uh, let's try someone else. Who's keeping it back for information? Hello. <laughs> Stop bothering me. Can't you see I'm cloud watching? Well, there are a lot of clouds to watch. Jeez, a little grumpy, aren't we? Whatever. Let's go ask someone else. <sighs> and then this lady. Those are the two. -y. They don't count. Aha! About four or five days ago, there were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and picks. I guess that could have been them. Sounds about right. Yeah, that's them! Four or five days ago? It appears that they were moving slower than we'd anticipated. Traversing the geography of Lingju Pass must have held them up. Right, because they're missing for six days. They got here after a full day had passed. It was so strange. Four big guys with lifeless expressions. It was like they were in some sort of trance. And there was a child staggering in front of them. Uh-oh. Huh. Uh, this child. Did you see what they look like? Blue hair? I caught a glimpse. Blue hair. Short. I think... I think it was a girl. She wasn't smiling. In fact, she looked very serious. Hmm. And they took this road? Yes, they followed it straight from here. Yeah, I mean, there are footprints. Let's go after them! <laughs> Although I do suppose that the footprints could have belonged to anyone. I suppose. Well, I could teleport. <sighs> but when... Try not to enjoy this. No escape. This one will be frozen. Ha! Drop. Why were you facing that way, darling? That's cheating. Why, of all things that you could have possibly decided. Yeah, that 
dude's back at full health. God damn it. Yep. I actually don't know what works really well for I guess electricity. <laughs> Oh my gosh, get off. There you go. Goodness gracious, girly. And I have no water, so. Cool it. Hit. This moment will be frozen in time. We need a hurry up. Ha. This is Them find you hit her melt. Oh, so sorry. Melt overload. Goodness gracious. Really? Going on. <laughs> tiring. That was so good. I I fully acknowledge her health going down and down and down. I'm completely ignoring their health. There is no reason. And Lisa went down. I'm sorry, Lisa. You went down entirely to my own ignorance. You didn't deserve that. I'm sorry. I'm so genuinely sorry. Dodge this! You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Freeze! Closer. You've been a naughty boy. Oh, I got all three, so I'm gonna say worth it. <laughs> it was the dumbest fight I was involved in for a long while. Oh. Excuse you did not see me! More footprints! <gasps> There's a person over there! Help! Please save me! Okay. Is that one of the people we're looking for? Oh, rescue first! Ask questions later! Oh. I was very confused. I was like, huh? Over here? Over there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Your luck. Cool it! Don't get frostbite! Don't push it! Dodge this! You're in for a little shock. Blitz! Thank <laughs> you. 
are so many enemies everywhere. Looks like I, I got guess I did it again. I don't know what. I don't know what compels me. I'm so sorry, Lisa. <laughs> I've just been getting you killed lately, huh? I'm. Whoops. There you go. You can. You can take the battle. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. Those monsters were so aggressive. They must have noticed me walking through. Before I knew it, they were all over me. Thank you mm. all for saving me. No problem, even though you're not the person we're looking for. My name is Wanyu. I belong to Liyue's Shengyu Hall. I head up our human culture and civilization research. Huh. Also, love your dress. Huh? Are you sure you're not a minor? <sighs> that is, a uh, duh. No, 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 Python. She's a not. minor? What? She does not look like a minor in the slightest. Yeah, we're looking for a group of four strong fellas carrying mining equipment. Also, they're dudes. <laughs> I. I think I saw those people. Oh? Really? When? Yes. I set off from Mount Tianmen the day before yesterday, heading for Lingju Pass. About halfway there, I came across some people a few men and a child. Could you be a bit more specific? I was in a hurry. I didn't get a good look. I'm afraid I'm not even sure what they looked like. Apologies. No, oh, it's fine. I think that's all we needed to hear. Thank you. Exactly. I hope it's useful to you. Well, it is. I'd better get going. There's a conference I need to attend. Again, thank you all for your help. They must be going really slow. Like, two days ago? And she just casually According walks off. According to the off. scholar, the miners were heading for Nantiamun. Nantiamun? Can we be absolutely sure that it was the men that we're looking for? Well? A child with a group of adults sounds pretty close to Paimon. Could have easily been a different group. Uh, but... Hey, perhaps that rock over there can tell us more. Oh? Um, Korlapis. Mm -hmm. It looks promising. I'll do my best. Hmm, hmm. The Rock Whisperer. Da 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 da. Hmm. Yep. Minus one. That. Yep. That's them. Huh. <sighs> Minus one bag of rocks, like the one that was left at the bottom of the ladder. <laughs> it's the same group, all right. They followed this road. <laughs> Mr. Kunjun, your stone seeing is something I won't forget in a hurry. <laughs> and he pretty much will live forever, so that means a lot. I suppose it is an asset, though I rarely find a use for it. But praise from Mr. Zhongli is high praise indeed. <laughs> a long time ago. Right, we wouldn't even have known they'd gotten north. <laughs> you think so? I guess it's been a worthwhile trip then. It feels like like we're cracking a criminal case. It's a <laughs> lot of fun. Right. Be that as it may, we would do well to keep our guards high. Right. They're acting zombie-like. Who knows how they were entrapped. Four fully grown men in a trance-like state. Walking ceaselessly day and night over hills and mountains led by a child. This is no ordinary incident. Especially because there's monsters and Fatui and ruin guards everywhere and they're not getting attacked. Oh, you're quite right, Mr. Zhongli. We should have our wits about us. That's not all. Our scholar was attacked by Geo Bishop hatchlings, but the level of aggression they exhibited was unusual. We have encountered many clues along the way. So far, they've pointed us in the right direction. Hmm. The miners headed in the direction of Nan Tianmen the day before yesterday. From here, they would have had to navigate a perilous mountain road. 
If their destination is indeed Nantienan, we should be able to catch up with them. Uh -huh. Great! No time to lose! Right. Where we are is only two days behind them, and they're going awfully slow. I left a mark in the vicinity just now. If Uncle Dai does pass through here, it should guide him to us. All right. Clever thinking! A classic genre move! <laughs> hmm. This rock is no different from ordinary core lapis, and yet Kun Jun was able to see a memory group. It was thanks to this sort of rock that we were able to find some clues. So does that mean... It does. Oh boy! You know, normally I'd be like, huh, let's just trek across. But even I know that would be like a long hike. Um. <laughs> hmm, it's embedded in stone. Let's take a shortcut. <laughs> all right, all right, and work our way a little bit backwards, as if. We're pretending that we came all this way. And now trot trot trot. Hey! Oh my god. Is this one of the missing people? Oh dear, he's collapsed. Yeesh. There's a basket lying here too. But this must be one of the miners. Hey! Ella? Can you hear us? Judging by his appearance, he must have collapsed from exhaustion. They walked and they were like walking for six straight days and nights. Yeah. Should we wake him up? I can, I can still dig. Oh, sounds like he's whispering something. He looks like he's trying to stand it up. Seems that he thinks he still has work to do. Something's not right. There's a camp nearby. We should take him there and monitor his condition before deciding our next move. Mm-hmm. How curious indeed. Right. Also. Sand bear wood. Sand bears! completely forgot that I can attack trees. Compares me into attacking trees now. Okay, enough goofing around. Hmm. Alright. How is he? Oh, there's that tree. He, he won't die, right? He's worked himself into a stupor. Thankfully, he's not in serious danger. How'd he get so exhausted? I have heard him talking about digging for something. Did he dig himself into this state? It's certainly a possibility. Strange. Hmm? It looks like there's something in his pocket. Are these ore fragments? Huh. Oh, you can you can read the memories of ores, Gunjun. Hmm. Tell us, what do you see with your special eyes? Hmm. I just witnessed the memories within these ore fragments. This person brought these fragments out of the mine. He's one of the four that we're searching for. Oh my gosh, the grass squishies. How he came what? to be here is what we need to understand. So he was kidnapped, and then abandoned here. But if they didn't need him, why bring him all the way out here? Unless something happened. Something that led him to fall behind. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Hyman's had enough. This is too mysterious. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait a moment. Seeing these fragments has jogged my memory. I have something for you. Say what now? What is it? Ooh, is it a present? 
pie. Something for us? As I mentioned, before I met Uncle Di, I was in a daze. After setting out with you on this case, it feels like a fog is lifting. Huh. I was so happy when Uncle Di enlisted you to help. I would never have managed to track down these clues by myself. These are some crystals that I bought from the market. Not any old crystals, mind you. This purity is extraordinarily rare. One for each of you. A memory, if you will. Oh? It's beautiful. Oh, and the colors change as you turn it. It's like a different crystal from each angle. Can I? It looks expensive. Can I really keep this? But of course, take it. And this one is for Mr. Shongli. Uh. <laughs> huh? I is something wrong? Not to your liking? On the contrary. I just hadn't anticipated receiving a gift during the current circumstances. No kidding. We're on a kidnap mystery case and, ah, oh, yes, presents. But thank you. I will take good care of it. I'm curious of the memories within each one. I'm pleased you like them. It's nice to be able to give a gift that others can appreciate. <laughs> oh, I see more rocks over there. You should all get some rest. I'm going to scan the surroundings. Perhaps there are more memories to uncover. Right. Be careful. You sure like rocks, huh, Kunjun? I mean, if you can see the memories of rocks, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Ores are the crystals of the earth. The sediment of time itself. I feel at peace among them. I can vibe to that. Get some rest and call me when you're ready to set off. I won't be far. He'll be on a, He'll be okay on his own, right? Rest easy. I surveyed the area. There's no danger here. These slimes got called out for being non-threatening. Oh, however, there is something I wanted to discuss with you. Oh? Huh? What's with the seriousness all of a sudden? Is it something about the crystals he gave us? Traveler, does Dragonfall mean anything to you? Hmm, the only thing I can think of is dragon spine. Which is a mountain, so, no. You mean the ore that Kunjun's looking for? What's so special about it? Is it the ore that he just gave us? Dragonfall is an incredibly rare ore used in forging. The majority of regular crystals are formed in high temperature environments. Dragonfall, on the other hand, is formed as a product of elemental reactions. Oh. Elemental reactions can produce material objects? Right? <sighs> Indeed they can. However, only a minority can survive for long periods of time. Hmm. Dragonfall first emerged in the midst of a great battle thousands of years ago. Powerful clashes of elemental energy gave birth to elemental, elemental crystals. crystals. When the fighting ceased, these geological remnants were miraculously preserved. Fascinating. And yet they are crystal creations all the same. Few, Few and, and far, far between. between. Relatively unknown. A few hundred years ago, they were virtually mined into obscurity. Huh. Why is it then that a citizen of Liu now wishes to strike upon ore that has long since vanished from the earth? Right. Yeah, if he knows of its existence, surely he knows all of it's already been mined. But his memory is foggy, so... Really? Hyman doesn't get it. Well... Hmm. There are those in the mining trade who retain a keen interest in Dragonfall. But for someone like Mr. Kunjun, whose motivations for seeking it are unclear even unto himself, it's practically unheard of. Perhaps he has ulterior motives? Ulterior motives? <gasps> is he a villain? Dun dun dun! A conclusion that is presently impossible to reach. We must watch and wait. Don't forget, rescuing those miners is the primary objective. As for anything else, sooner or later the tide will reveal the lie of the land. Right. We're drawing closer to our goal. I believe we should continue to follow this road through. Now that we've found one, the others won't be far away. Right. When you're well rested, call Mr. Kunjun over to us. We still have more investigation ahead. 
We should ensure this miner is settled here at the camp. Once we've brought this matter to a close, we can return and attend to him. I suggest we leave a note for Uncle Dai. If he does find the camp, he'll know what to do. Hmm. Right. He should be on our tails. Somewhere. Hmm. Okay. So... Crab room. Tofu. Or cake stone. A rare ore mined from a deserted spot deep in the mountains. This sort of ore can only be found in veins in the oldest mountains. Perhaps it's due to its extreme rarity, but many merchants haven't even so much as heard of this rock. The ore itself has incredible clarity, and its colors are dazzling. Almost seem to glow with an inner light that brings out its blue-violet beauty, which is like the distant and lovely sunset sky. The few scholars who understand its value gave it a most straightforward name, Archaic Stone. If you intend to give it as a gift, it would be best to give it to one who recognizes what they're receiving. No kidding. <laughs> Look, it's exhausted. Poor guy. Alright, darlings. Well, just gonna snag a few more chunks of rock from this tree. Chunks of rock. Sand, bare wood. There we go. Mm -hmm. And up ahead, we have a most curious tree. Where the curious child was standing curiously. So, Kunjin, find anything interesting? Perhaps something that might have jogged your memory. Kunjin, we need to get going. No problem. I'm done here. Hmm. Any results, Mr. Kunjun? There are many beautiful rocks here, but nothing out of the ordinary. I couldn't find any clues. Huh. Then again, the memories of ore can shift with the passage of time and the changing of the environment. Is there a pattern to it? Hmm. Difficult to say. I feel that ore memories tend to be from the recent past. So there's never any ancient memories? Rocks endure, but as eons pass, their memories are erased. Those memories that survive are rooted in powerful emotion or thought. Hmm. That makes sense. It is the same for people. Indeed. Let's keep going. Crab! <laughs> Alright. We are... What cool. stupid turd fell off this rock? Let's see exactly where we're going. Oh, and the little ice bridge is gone. And we were heading in a thiswardly direction. Um, right. <laughs> um, hello? Oh. <laughs> Such an immense tree! It is very grandiose. And there's so many mysterious looking crystals up there too! Amazing! <laughs> this ancient tree... Let's conduct separate investigations. I'll take that area. Perhaps you could survey this section. Be careful. 
All right then. <laughs> Hunjun, can you see anything worth investigating? Hmm. Well, there is this stone tablet here. Doesn't seem very interesting. Paimon's gonna look over there. So mysterious. Huh. It's worth a try, surely. Let me see. Oh. Uh -oh. <sighs> this is. Hey, what's wrong? Just a bit lightheaded. It's past. Nothing to worry about. You saw something. But we shall ask. Did you see anything? Not. <sighs> Not yet. Hmm. <laughs> over there. Why don't you climb the tree and have a look? You sure there'll be clues in the tree? If you don't try, you won't know. Anyway, you'll be able to get a good look at our surroundings from up there. Fair enough. Uh, <sighs> oh, uh, y you think so? Hmm, you okay? Why does Paimon ever come up with a bad idea? Hmm? <laughs> Wait a minute. All of you, come here. Huh? Zhongli's voice came from behind the tree. Did he find another clue? Sounds like it. Quick, let's go see. Maybe he found another miner. Quite a possibility. Especially if they're starting to pass out from exhaustion. Thank you. This has been newly dug. It would appear our answer is up ahead. Oh? Is that a voice coming from the tunnel? <laughs> Someone else go first! <laughs> Compose yourselves. I will lead us in. Hmm. There is an unusual presence emanating from inside the tunnel. Prepare yourselves and tread lightly. Of course. My mom's like, I am out of here. Where the hell am I? Okay. <laughs> Had to orientate myself. Goodness gracious. Uh oh. I'm afraid that this whole tunnel is the fruit of their strenuous labor. But why? Huh? That gate! Has it been here all along? Digging a tunnel to this ancient seal. Had they not been discovered, they would undoubtedly persevere. to the gate. Something dangerous. They don't seem to like us very much. <laughs> oh my something dangerous has happened how exciting <laughs> uh oh <laughs> uh, what type of monster is this Morax you arrive at my doorstep of your own volition excellent Taking revenge for stealing me away will be all the easier! 
So, the little girl is your power incarnate. But if you recall, Ishtahan, this is not how we intended for events to transpire. Waste not your words! <laughs> um, well, real quick. Most dramatic music, and I'm struggling to figure out how to dodge his attacks. Drop. <sighs> I'm barely doing any damage. Okay. No cool. Oh my goodness. Order guide you. Guy not who Yikes. <laughs> like we're barely piddly there. So sorry, Lisa. Every single time, it's been somebody, and it's always been you. Snow not the mountain. No one escapes like this. Oh, so sorry. Dodge this. Drop. <laughs> Quake. Crumble. Crumble. I'm dead. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Cool it. Dodge this. Don't push your luck. Rumble apart. There is no atonement. For a thousand year pain. Dude was just like, okay, continue, but I see you. Choose to believe, so be it. He who bears the weight of memory is destined to shoulder the burden of truth, as it ought to be. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, my. 
I got one of these things. Oh, not sit on me. Seconds and then I can get you back up, Miss. Freeze! Shark, chill. Yo, oh boy. This is order. Rise. Crumble. <laughs> and he's about to belly flop. That goddamn gin. <laughs> down.
hand? Come a little closer. Quake! For Crumble! Gather! The enraged earth! No? Apparently this entire time I should be not... Order guide you. Aha. Oh. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh boy. <laughs> A thousand years after you sealed me underground, you return for the second time. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he doesn't seem proud of it. You should call it by its name, Ejdaha. Fate. Fate? Fate? <laughs> hmm? So here lies the wisdom of the gods. Destroy all dim redundant. Endless tyrants to ravage the wilderness. No. You have forgotten. Oh? That... That voice! Yeah, our new friend! Ishtaha. Huh? Kunjun? Aka Ishtaha? Morax. It's been a while. I am confused. You're... Ishtaha. The very same. He's... <laughs> During the battle, you imbued us with your power. <laughs> yes. It was all I could manage. Then, which one is the real Ejdaha? Forgive me for concealing the truth, Traveler. There were things that only became clear to me upon reaching this tree. Allow me to elaborate. I am not Ejdaha the whole, but a fragment. Hmm. Heaven and Earth, Yin and Yang, opposing forces. You can consider the existence of me and the Ejdaha you see there to be a reflection of such polarities. We are a schism of the will. The will of Ejdaha. Huh. So, so there are two Ejdahas? A or I? No, it can't be. That's impossible. When the seal loosened, your power manifested in this world as a child. With this new identity, you were able to vent about the forces that suppressed you. But would anyone listen? Would they even care? That's when it occurred to you. The loosening of the seal constituted an opportunity to strike back. Hmm. Kidnapping the miners was all in aid of digging to the entrance to the seal itself. Your plan was to launch an attack on both ends, from outside and within, thereby fully destroying the seal. Uh huh. The audacity! Are you insane? If you truly are a part of me, how is it you find yourself standing on the side of the betrayer? I was another power awakened with the loosening of the seal. Too weak to reincarnate, but strong enough to possess a human body. Oh. I was barely conscious. I couldn't remember who I was. Only the past would elicit a reaction from me. But my aim was clear. Find Morax and aid him in stopping you. Why would a part of someone want to be stopped? Huh? I had sensed that something was amiss when you mentioned Dragonfall. Had your power been but a little stronger, I would have recognized you. Huh. Don't blame yourself. I have changed beyond all recognition. Only when I touched the stone tablet did I truly remember. Alright, he started acting weird about then. It's been so long. A secret beyond all comprehension of youthful humanity and ancient dragonkind. Morax, 
Do you want to tell the tale? Hmm. There would be no harm in it. The decision is yours. <laughs> you haven't changed. Then allow me. Ah. Ejdaha was once a friend and ally of the Geo Archon Morax. With a lifespan far exceeding that of mankind. However, that which is derived of the Earth is no more or less than the Earth itself. Mm -hmm. The memories of rocks do not last long. Those memories that survive are rooted in powerful emotion. But as time passes, so these memories fade into obscurity. Erosion is the world's greatest destroyer of memories. Erosion? Erosion ground Ejdaha's consciousness into oblivion. Slowly, he forgot the face of his old friend, and his memories of defending Liyue Harbor disintegrated. <sighs> if you live long... If you're a hero, something, something hero. Either die here or live long enough to become the villain. And that seems to be what happened to Ejdaha. Ejdaha, now incomplete, became irascible. Aggressive. What would you expect? It was humanity that attacked the ley lines that sustained me. This much is true. Which is why you attacked the chasm. Why you waged war against Morax. In the beginning, in order to open up new territory and increase production, the citizens of Liyue came to the mountains to mine. Overexploitation caused the ley lines to quake, which brought untold suffering to us. <clears throat> Erosion made us even more savage. No matter how we struggled, we lost the ability to coexist with humanity. We lost all reason. Hmm. Morax shared with us some of his power to prevent further erosion. But it was futile. Everything returns to dust. It is, it is the, the natural, natural order, order. An unstoppable force. And so, we became you. And from your will, I emerged. I am your final contract. Witness the promise between Ejdaha and Morax. You can hate me, but you cannot deny me. No! No! I am the remnants of Ejdaha's benevolence. The echo of a contract set in stone. I harbor a willingness to go further, mm. a willingness to coexist peacefully with mankind. Wow. No, no! It is I, Ejdaha, forged of elemental crystal, bearer of the weight and memories of the earth, older than the mountains and the oceans that decides. I will not swear allegiance to this insect. <laughs> Morax is not an insect. Yeah, he's a god. A lord over insects is nothing but an insect in turn. You forgot yourself. Nobody held Morax in higher regard than you or I. That which you have forgotten, I hold here in my heart. If you are the memory of the Earth, then I am the memory of coexistence. Of coexistence with humanity. Hmm. All powers under heaven rise and fall of land and sea. A star appears within the wild. A sun ascends as bright as jade. Hmm. Strange. What, what is this feeling? And all this. Yin without yang, yang without yin is imbalance. You are spent, and I will soon disappear. Before I do, 
Heed these words. In the wilderness, snow falls on a spring day. In an instant, it will melt. Even where it is fleeting and leaves no trace. Even where it will never fall again. No! That isn't true! I don't accept this as fate! Perhaps it isn't. But it remains an inevitable misfortune. Are you satisfied, Ishtaha? I had to make amends. Satisfaction had no part in it. So, Morax, you call yourself Zhang Li these days? I do. Well, I'm afraid old habits die hard. To me, you're Morax. Hmm. As you please. I never did forget your gift of sight. I hardly lifted a finger. Think nothing of it. And yet, you could see. You wouldn't know the yearning of a blind dragon, searching for the sun. A pair of eyes, from Morax to Ejdah. This... I will remember this. Hmm. Your power is nearly spent. Ah, perceptive as always, my friend. Shall we get going, you and I? Surely the pressing matter is still that of the miners trapped outside the seal. Indeed. Hence the need to get going. To fix the damage left in your wake. Hmm. Straight down to business as always. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Truly, you either die the hero or live long enough to become the villain. Potential issue with living forever. Your memories will fade. Hmm. Dude, what's up? So there you are. He's My men and I me. found your clues and followed them straight here. We found Mao in a tent at the campsite unconscious. It seems he'll be okay. Sadly, we found no trace of the other three. Huh? Young Kun, what... What is... Nothing. Pay it no mind. Those three miners are over there, in that cave. You sound nothing like your old self. You should... Cave? What happened? They're exhausted, but not in danger. Don't worry. Uh, right. Well, thank you, all of you. I better go and see how they're doing. So you're taking them back to Liyue Harbor? That's right. Can I come with you? No problem. You rescued my men. I'll be happy to assist all of you in any way I can. I'll be back soon. I need to assess their condition. Hmm. Kunjun, uh, uh, we should be calling you Ejdaha. You're coming back to Liyue Harbor too, right? Not I. Merely this body. Once I'm gone, the true owner will accompany the miners back to Liyue. Kunjun hails from a family of famous artisans. <laughs> he too will be famous in time. 
It would be a shame for someone of his talent to go missing. You know, complimenting from a practically eternal being. <laughs> you always did have a great admiration for blacksmiths. Curious how swords and daggers are blind, yet their creators see so much. Perhaps empathy is mankind's proudest achievement after all. <laughs> Perhaps. Ejdaha. I am no longer the Geo Archon. Right? He gave up his core. Ooh. I can sense it. Today I am just an ordinary citizen of Liu. Actually, that makes me wonder. Are they essentially mortal? Like, after having forever, Zhang Li, Venti, do they have a life that they'll live out? Perhaps more powerful than the normal folk, but will they die? <sighs> Even you met such a fate. Let's get the difficult part out of the way. I cannot guarantee that I won't be awoken a second time. No matter. If that day comes to pass, Liyue must prepare itself to face you. And how will Liyue fare without Rex Lapis? <laughs> Surprisingly well. Even without a god above, this remains a nation of men. I was once their god. I ought to be here to witness their rise and fall. All life is shaped and then ground away by the endless flow of time. You were always the strongest among us. Yet, it would seem that even you have been eroded. Hmm. That's unimportant. Fate is ordained by heaven. Even if our mission had already concluded, it would be cowardly not to strike out on the road of departure. You may live forever, doomed to a lonely existence. Yet, even this is temporary. When you reach the end of time, those people, those past and future relationships predetermined by fate, they will be waiting for you. I do not pretend to match your rhetoric when it comes to the subject of a life long lived. I fear that the life of an elemental being is longer than any in this world. Were it not so, you would have killed me long ago. And would not be having to face me again now. You've brought a smile to my face. When all is said and done, a reunion between old friends is an auspicious occasion. That day in the chasm, did you hesitate? A heart of stone is a heart nonetheless. But I am the god of contracts, and was for a time a god of the people of Liyue. You chose justice, but did not forsake your kindness. You came to me not as an assassin, and so I was willingly sealed away. Hmm. The movements of the Earth Dragon can tremble the Earth and shake the heavens. With your abilities, even at my full strength, I struggled to confront you. Let alone seal you away. Hence my inception. Do not forget that I was there with Liyue's founder. The face may have changed, but the content of the contract remains intact. Old friend. God of contracts. I hereby honor our agreement. <sighs> Thank you, Ishtaha. Hmm. My life is at an end. I will join the eternal flow of time. And you, Morax, you will live for many a day to come. Oh, my goodness. You're leaving? If it is fated, Morax, we will meet again. Huh? Uh-oh. So is this...
The real Kunjun? Yes. Don't be alarmed. He's only asleep. Whoa. That was so weird. It was like he suddenly became another person. He did become another person, Pi. In fact, we have yet to meet the real Kunjun. But what about Azdaha? He was a great friend of yours. He was. Centuries may have passed since then, but events from a thousand years ago remain crystal clear in my mind. How awful that must be for a great friend to become an enemy. In our last tale, Rex Lapis was walking alone in the mountains. He heard a remote voice unlike any other coming from a crack in the earth. Most of the ancient Geo life forms that live below Liyue are blind, having not seen the sunlight for an age. The voice was sometimes sad and song-like. Other times it was loud and thunderous. The Lord of Geo searched here and there before finally unearthing a strange stone from the bedrock. Hmm. That's how Ejdaha was. I answered his wish and took him above ground. The Lord of Geo took pity on the rock spirit and carved it into a magnificent work of craftsmanship, a vivid representation of a dragon. I bestowed him with a pair of eyes to see the world and came to an agreement with him. With his fingers, he made two eyes. Quicker than words could tell, lightning flashed and thunder roared, and a living, breathing dragon soared into the clouds. I agreed to let him live among the people above ground. But if the day ever came when he brought ruin to order, he would once again be sealed in the dark. Oh. The dragon accompanied the Lord of Geo, fighting campaigns alongside him in the four corners of the world. We have a saying to eulogize these events. The crash of a spear brought billowing dust. The mountains and waters made way at the sound. The sight of a dragon bestowed with a touch the promise of rainwater Water blessing, blessing the, the ground. Huh. Volunteers to take unconscious Kunjin back to the way, etc., etc. Something that I couldn't read because it disappears so fast. <laughs> A thousand years ago, Ejdaha attacked the chasm. I tried to obstruct him, fighting him tooth and nail down the length and breadth of the mine. Finally, I brought him down and sealed him underground. During that battle, Dragonfall was born. Ejdaha could sense the stone. Subconsciously, he wanted to use it to find me. Despite being the victor, I could not claim to be stronger than he. And in his heart, he still retained an ounce of goodwill towards me. Towards Leo. Towards life above ground. Huh. He was willing to be sealed away. But as the erosion set in, he forgot. The power of erosion, of erosion is scary. Have you also been affected by erosion? Even I cannot avoid it. But there is something I understand better than most. When the door opens, it is time to leave. That's probably why he so willingly gave over his... Whatever his core is called in this universe. It was his time. So he left. The greater the power, the greater the danger erosion may bring about. The millennia may come and go, but even a stone may tire. Is that why he chose to step down as the Geo Archon? Personally sealing away an old friend. This is just one form of erosion I have endured. People abandon and surrender the things they love to pursue the right path. Perhaps this is the erosion imposed on me by the natural order of this world. Hmm. But I was a god of mankind. 
My identity may change, but my eyes will bear witness to the history of humanity. Hmm. You still care a lot about Liyue. Call it... <sighs> part of my duty. He seems very tired. I must thank you both. No worries! Hold on. I want to ask you something. Oh? About what? About my brother. Oh, yeah! Hyman nearly forgot! <laughs> right, I do suppose we never asked. So, not long ago, we met a guy called Dane. He told us about Conria and the punishment of the gods. That's when we realized that those events were connected to the person we're searching for. Yes. This is crucial for me. Xiang Li, you're a god. You've lived through thousands of years of history. Surely you experienced the incident? <sighs> Conor, he's either living a bad memory, <laughs> or he was before his time, even. Uh. Mm hmm. I do believe the former. I cannot say. It's the latter? You can't even give us a thread of information? This is so important to us. I understand. But I must apologize. This is my contract. Oh. It was neither. He cannot say. You mean another past grievance? Like the incident with Ejda? Too painful to talk about? I don't think so. It was signed before it all began. I have always honored the contract. And kept my silence. Uh, how can you be like that? He's the god of contracts. There's one thing he'll keep, it's his word. You two are friends to me. I can assure it brings me no pleasure to disappoint you. But as the god of contracts, I cannot go back on my word. But why would he swear not to speak of it? What happened in Conria? What happened? Why did the gods decide to destroy him? There had to be a more reason than just they were great people and the gods thought that they should not have their power. What happened in Conria? Would you be ready to find out? Hmm. Perhaps. It appears your understanding of this world continues to grow. There are many events of ages past. Many secrets that lie hidden. Hmm. They have been eroded by time. Forgotten by the people. Abandoned. But you are capable of finding them and bringing them into the light. Those who come to witness, will witness. Those who are born to remember, will remember. Hmm. If you take the same road as that person, there may be more difficulties ahead. But as long as you firmly believe that you are on the right path, everything has meaning. Hmm. No mere stone, indeed. Dream solvent, huh? Is that what our stone became? No, we still have the magical stone. Dream solvent. An item capable of changing character level of materials obtained from memories and trials into whatever form is needed. People once believed that spirits and memories had some material form. If someone dreamed of heaven before waking up clutching a flower, then that blossom must have been made from such a fantasy. Dream solvent dissolves that which is obtained from memory and transforms it into some other dream. Indeed, blows traded with the strong are stepping stones to becoming stronger yourself. Hmm.
This tablet was erected by Mountain Shaper. It names Ejdaha as a terrible dragon and serves as a warning for later generations to stay away from this place, from the seal. Oh. It's a shame. There is a fine line between good and evil. If the good and evil within him could be summarized in a single sentence, it... Well, never mind. Hmm. Would have liked to hear. He says nothing more. Amidst the quiet, only the soft sound of the wind can be heard. Time seems to transform into an invisible river, trickling away. A fleeting moment, a thousand years in the mortal world. A rock, the rocks feel it, and so too does the earth and the gods. Life endures in heaven and earth, thanks to the merciful Adeptus. On this site lies an evil dragon. Please do not disturb it. Hmm. Mysterious expert contracted by the Wang Xing Queen Father. Extremely knowledgeable in all things. Can we save the thing? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Some things change. <laughs> Some things don't. Las Mantis wine tastes the same as he remembers. From who knows how long ago. <laughs> and yet those who shared it with him once upon a time have rode it away. His rocks in a river. My darlings, this has been quite the adventure that we've had. So much and so little is learned. <sighs> and for now, I must leave you. But I do promise, my darlings, we will meet again. And with that, I bid you adieu. I will catch you on the flip side.